We opened this trench initially because this was possibly one of the most promising sites, although there are one or two worrying things about it. The bricks in the arch there look too late. They also look like they've been reused. Uh, they're not 18th century to most people's eyes. We've had a building 
an archaeological buildings expert come out and have a look at them. The other problem is as well that this, if that was the kiln inside this building here, this lean to, it's very, very small. And there are no signs of burning. So when we excavated it, what we found was that this, that we thought might be the flue, actually angles down. So it's far more likely to actually be a toilet. <laughs> and that the waste came out here and we've got a slight gully coming down here, as you can see. Um, we had four post holes here, which must have been to do with the building of this, this wall. Um, so that was one of our targets. That was a little bit disappointing, but it had to be excavated. We've also dug it inside. We found various layers from modern concrete to... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cobbles? No, before that. <laughs> uh, lime water, a lime water surface. Lime water surface and then underneath that cobbles and then underneath that we half section the cobbles and we've got a wall. Again a wall in there. So I think the conclusion is fairly fairly firm that actually we've got a toilet in there. We've also got some beam slots which would suggest that. So this is the slot that might have been the flue. It's a bit strange having it up against a wall for one thing as well. But um, if this was a flue then you probably wouldn't want to stoke uphill and you can see as I walk down the slope that goes down like that. Here's the wall that we exposed once we took the cobbles off. Um, and you can see the lintel here, the doorway here. So there's several things that really suggest this isn't quite right for a kiln. Nope, it's probably that one behind us. Oh, it's Phil. <laughs> Distracting us from the job in there. Well, there you go. Enjoy. I'm going to give him a massacre. This is where the so, Chris, we're here at Little Potheridge site. What actually are we doing here? Well, uh, originally we came here to try and find uh, a kiln, because uh, an 18th century kiln, which is what we would expect here, given the archaeological evidence, given the cartographic evidence, given the documentary evidence, uh, would be a real find. There haven't been any clay pipe kilns found in the southwest at all. Uh, and the 18th century kilns are very rare. There's only two in the whole of the UK, I think. So, um, basically, we started over here with this trench. Along there. Having done geophysics, we were looking for two anomalies that were about the right size. Um, unfortunately, There, trying to find the kiln waste that Philip Collins had found earlier, but again, we, we missed that. Um, so then we opened this trench up a little bit, we extended it along here to try and find the line of a building we expected coming out here. Uh, what we actually found was a building that isn't exactly on the same alignment, but a very wide wall, which we suspect is medieval. First, firstly, by the size of it, the width, and secondly, by the fact that we have a cut here, foundation trench for the wall base of this trench we found medieval pottery. We've also got an alignment here of stones which we think is probably um, a hedge boundary, an ancient boundary, possibly uh, a strip field going back again to medieval times. We've got various annoying things like this pile of farmers dump here which is uh, all sorts of bits of rusting machinery and everything like that. Um, we've got a few spreads here of uh, material so there's one here that Keith is doing, and there's quite a long spread down the side there. Now over on that side, we found a large piece of kiln muffle. Muffle is the pot that goes inside the kiln, uh, and we had a good piece of it with some buttresses on, which is quite diagnostic. Um, and as far as I can tell, I haven't seen one exactly like that before. Uh, we've also today had a nice piece of bun, which again is a piece that goes inside the muffle to support the clay pipes. So over here we've got uh, another trench we put in, just a, a slot really, to see if we get any floor surface because we've got a continuation of the wall coming out here 
and on the maps we it suggests that there was a building here that's been truncated that's why all this area here is new build if you look at these bricks here these are all industrial bricks that have been reused this is a fairly typical sort of 19th Victorian 19th century Victorian sort of feature we've got a concrete lintel here so obviously that's fairly modern so we put a slot in here but unfortunately we just came straight down onto natural a lot of rubbish and uh, we took a slot here just to check it was natural and we're right onto the natural clay there. So nothing there, which is a bit surprising. You'd expect a floor in here, really. but maybe it's been robbed out. So where to now? Where to now? Back to the drawing board. Re-evaluate everything. Look at the concentration of finds that we've got. Where we found the, the kiln furniture, the muffle, uh, the bun. Concentrations of pipes. And then maybe look more in that direction next year. Maybe possibly do a magnetometry survey as well, um, which might help us since the geophysics has been an abysmal failure. <laughs>